water. Get all the air bubbles out of it. Let it fill up with water. Hey, babe. What's that? <laughs> Guess what we got? <laughs> what do we got? An Aper Smart robotic pool vacuum. Woo! Open that baby up. Dude, this is gonna be so cool. Have you seen this pool lately? It's nasty. It's disgusting. This is what it looks like after being gone on vacation for a week. Disgusting, dirty bugs. It really needs vacuum. And you're gonna set that up for me, aren't you? Well, with your help. Yes, of course. So it's double boxed. Yeah, which is so nice. There it is, Aper Smart. So this is the AIPURY 600. The charge lasts about 50 minutes and it says it's 2600 mAh. That's a cool little box. It is. Handle. Should we leave those out? I hope that's for you. Ooh, charger. Alright, be careful. There's some. There you go. Oh, look at that. That's cool. That is so awesome. That is that. so nice. It's got some wheels. Yeah. We are going to use this for our stock tank pool. If you've been following us for some time, this is our second year with our stock tank pool and we absolutely love it. If you remember, we canceled a big, huge above ground pool and went and got this. Hey, what do you think so far? Comment down below if you've ever had a robotic vacuum for your pool. What was the brand? What did you like about it? What did you not like about it? I'm gonna do my very best to go down to all the comments and reply and interact with all of you. Make sure you go down and leave a comment. It doesn't look like there's much assembly to this, but we're gonna Pull the directions out. What are you doing there, bub? Are you actually reading directions? Well, we're just kind of skimming over them. So that is a retriever hook here. So if it was in the bottom of a deep end, okay. you put that on the end of your pole, right? Of your, yeah. And, and yep, and your pull. Uh, I'm just gonna go out on a thing? limb and say this yes, goes like that. It does. <laughs> Um, it's got to click in. Um, so you would just retrieve it from the bottom of the pool. Install the swing plate and floating handle. But put into or lift out of the pool with the cleaner on towards. Pull that way. Install the swing plate. Using install the scrapers to enhance suction effect. So these are the scrapers. So let's use. install the scrapers to enhance the suction effect. In order to install those, we're gonna separate the units, like so. Oh, look at that, there's the filter. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So it has the flat. That's the suction. The suction is in flat. Yep. So then apparently it goes through so the screen and then the water comes back up the top. Actually, we did not have to remove that, I don't think. It kind of showed that in the picture, but let's, let's see if we can get these on here. They're going to go in these little slots here. And then they're going to click into the little holes. On the sides. They're kind of like a rubber squeegee, really. Yep. Yep. Go ahead and do that on this side. Let's go ahead and put it back together, which is real simple. So, this is going to be your screen here.
Okay, so we're gonna install the handle real quick. So I had to go get a Phillips screwdriver, which they provide you with the screws. So you click that into place. Yep, and then you just take the screws and tighten it down. Just snug them down. Don't don't get crazy with it because we are dealing with plastic here. And they went right into a female piece on the back side. So we're gonna flip this around, go from the other side. <laughs> well, at least it comes out good. Yeah, so you need to hold on to your screw a little better. All right. All right. And now what you got is that your called? handle. You got your handle. The swing plate and floating handle. So this is a retriever. If you have it in the deep water, of course, you put it on your adjustable pole, and then you can reach down into the pool and hook your handle and pick her up out of there. Ta -da! It's pretty nifty right there. So on the bottom here, it says to make sure that you don't crush the swing plate or the handle here when you're charging it. So you really don't want to set it up like this. So you can plug your charger here right into the bottom of it. Actually, it's going to go this way. That was that. Here, you're going to have your on-off button right here. So now what we're going to do is try this bad boy out. So you're going to take the unit. You're going to stuff it down in the water. Get all the air bubbles out of it. Let it fill up with water. Bubbles come out. You're gonna flip it up on its side a little bit. You're gonna you're gonna push the power button, release it, and then you're gonna drop it to the bottom of your pool. And there she goes. You guys, this is so awesome. So if you followed us for a while, you know that our stock tank pool does not have holes in it. We have a top skimmer and then we have a fountain to release the water back in. We have no way to vacuum the bottom of the pool. Generally, I disconnect the skimmer and I use the hose and I go around the bottom of the pool. That's how I catch all the big debris. This is a game changer. Did you see this thing? It is running around this pool like no other and is cleaning up all the bottom of it for me. So it's perfect because our pool is nice and flat and then it actually stops, but it's a soft stop. It'll hit the end. When it bangs the side of your pool, it's not leaving dents or anything. It's a pretty soft little nudge. So it actually stops. It reverses the way the water flows like a jet and it flows the water out backwards. So that top handle actually moves back and forth. And when it hits the wall, it goes up right and then it realizes which way it needs to go and then the jets propel it the opposite direction. So it's pretty cool. And it's fast. Yeah, that it's fast. It moves along here fast. Look at this. You wanna pick it up and show everybody how, how it turns off automatically? So you pick, whoa, whoa. pick it up out of the water. And then it'll shut off on its own so you don't burn the unit up and then it has a little beeping noise just to remind you to turn it off so then you go to the bottom hit the button shuts it off now we'll open it up and see what debris it has in it all right you can show us what you got yep so you just take these little clips which there's four of them around it around the unit just click them down Pull the top off, which there's nothing on the top side. All the debris that the, that the unit picks up from the pool is going to be underneath the filter. Right. So there's, there's a little bit of debris around the filter itself. That just keeps it from going up into the motor and everything. So where most of your debris is in the bottom of this, look at that. That's only been running for a few minutes, literally. Look at all those. 
horse flies. Yeah, horse flies. And some grass and a bee. Pretty good sized leaf. Oh yeah. So then you basically just dump it out, which... You rinse with the hose. You'd want to rinse with the hose, get it real good and clean. But it's, it's not full by any means. But you want to do this so the charge lasts about an hour. So every hour you want to take it apart, clean it out, charge the battery, and then put it back in and go for another round. So we haven't cleaned it out or anything yet. I just want to show you how to put it back together. Literally just take the, the filter here. It only goes one way. It goes down right over the edges. Then you take your top, line it up with the clips. Need help there? Yeah. Just like that. One handed. <laughs> and then it's ready to go back in the pool. So this little guy is doing a great job. It's perfect for this stock tank pool, but I could see it would work awesome in any other pool as well. An in-ground pool, an above-ground pool. Thank you so much for watching today. We really enjoyed unboxing and putting together the Apair Robotic Pool Vacuum. I am very impressed by it. Oh, like, yeah, I'm super impressed by it. It's got tons of power. Mm -hmm. We didn't even charge it. It's right we out of the box. Right, right. It collected big bugs. I mean, big bugs and bigger leaves. And we just got an eight foot stock tank pool. Can you imagine what it would be in like a 24 or a 35 foot above ground pool or like a huge lagoon pool or an in ground pool? This thing is amazing, you guys. The link is down in the description. We want to thank you so much for watching today. We really appreciate it. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and go ahead and hit the dingle bell. It'll alert you every single time we upload new content. Hope you have a great night. Bye-bye. And like this video.